Howdy friends, Azebro here, and today I kind of wanted to share another Oculus Rift S video, and this one being my own experience and my guide how to record and stream your virtual reality gameplay via Oculus Rift S. I believe this tutorial will also be useful for Oculus Rift CB1, the original headset, and it, and it should also, in theory, work with Oculus Quest. So without further ado, let's get started. I really appreciate everyone watching these tutorials and leaving your comments. If you appreciate the content I post, if you like the video, you know what to do. So let me minimize my picture here. I think my ego kind of took hold of me and let's move on to more interesting stuff. So what is it that you really need to stream or record your gameplay. So the first thing you need really is uh, an Oculus Mirror app. So obviously you do need your recording software, but what is it that you're going to record? You can record your game itself, but I really recommend using Oculus Mirror instead. So uh, I created a short shortcut for myself for Oculus Mirror. You basically need to go to your PC, to your uh, hard drive, Oculus, support and oculus diagnostics a folder and you need that oculus mirror app so basically what oculus mirror does it copies whatever you see through either your right or left lens in your oculus headset so your gameplay will different a little bit from what you see on the screen but it should be super duper similar it's also nicer than relying on the game itself. Sometimes a game image could disappear. Some games don't even have a, a copy or a mirror of your gameplay. So it's super, super useful to have that um, Oculus Mirror app. Unfortunately, I do not know what kind of software or app you would use for HTC Vive or Valve Index, but I'm sure they do have something similar. All right, so once we know, um, how to find our Oculus Mirror. And once we have the shortcut, we need our um, software to record the gameplay, right? Or stream it. I'm using Streamlabs. It's a free application, nothing super fancy about it, but you can record your gameplay and you can set it to a specific folder or you can go live with it. Uh, a nice advantage of um, uh, Streamlabs is that you can link it with your Twitch. So once again, you go live and you can set your game, you can set your tags and everything just through Streamlabs. And you will also be able to view your uh, Twitch uh, chat window, I believe. Yeah. So you can still view it somewhere here. When you go live, it pops in here. Anyway, so basically to record your um, mirror, you need to Add another source before adding the source you create a new scene so you press plus you name a scene you click done i'm not gonna create a new scene because it's gonna uh, stop recording what we're recording right now all right so you create a scene and this will be empty basically what i have here is alert box for followers uh subscribers so on and so forth we have a video capture device that's our camera we have a display capture what we're doing right now and we have a game capture i locked the game capture because we're not capturing any game but we're actually uh, capturing a display so to capture your oculus mirror you have to open your oculus mirror first so uh, we almost forgot to do that so we'll open oculus mirror we got it running hopefully it does anything i'm going to move it to my other screen uh, you click add and you will do um you can do game capture. Yeah, you can add it as a source. You'll add a new source instead. Otherwise, it will just override whatever you got capturing. All right, so we disappeared for a second, which is um, totally fine. Um, and we should be back now. So basically, this hierarchy of what should be captured first matters a lot, right? And since we since we added a new game capture it was placed right above and our recording disappeared so i locked it again just so for the video recording purposes just so that it wouldn't get cricket um once again um you can add it as a game capture it will just you'll just see a black screen here in here i mean and then you go you click on the gear here 
and you will instead of mode uh, just like auto you will capture specific window it already chose oculus mirror for me but um, once you choose it it will auto populate whatever image you see here since we have nothing running in vr right now you will see a black image but once you start streaming you'll actually see something there that's that's pretty cool that's really neat um so let's dive uh into our oculus vr headset and see how how you can actually start your stream without having to use your keyboard and mouse you can do all of that via your oculus rift headset and that's another benefit of oculus rift software all right so we are inside the headset and i'm using my current recording uh basically what you want to do is once you hop into your oculus vr headset you will open the virtual desktop right i have two monitors so you'll either choose monitor one or monitor two that's my second monitor you can move it around you can move around your second other monitor as well so you go to your software first right so if you want to click record if you want to start recording or you might want to click record if you want to end recording obviously right then you'll click go live if you want to go live and you'll click on all the good stuff within your stream you also get to use your keyboard if you want to enter the name of your stream and uh, that's another useful feature also um let's say let's say you want to overlay an image let's say your uh, chat twitch chat window what you do is you point at the chat window and then you use your uh, hold button and it kind of pulls out the window a specific window and you can pin it to your overlay so whatever you do in a game this thing will be stuck in your face there are third-party softwares which you can use to overlay things nicer but not all of them work with oculus rift and you can obviously close it and then you can end your stream once you're done streaming or you can click record well, the nice thing about Oculus Rift S is that you can record without actually removing your headset. You can um, also s do your live streams the same way. The nice feature is that you can later use your video editing software to remove these little parts where you start and end your streams. Something to be aware of when you start your streams and when you start recording, there's a little grace period when the software tells you they're recording, but they're not really. So I really recommend to leave a few seconds, 10 seconds tops to your recordings and live streams. Otherwise you will lose those very, very important uh, period of your stream. And when once you open your recording, you'll basically have a cutout of your introduction. So for introductory messages once again just leave about 10 second grace period and you should be good to go in theory it's very straightforward and easy to stream and record your videos using oculus rift s as i just showed uh, you basically need to have your oculus mirror app and it's always easy to have a shortcut on your desktop right then you want to make sure you have your video recording software you i'm using streamlabs i'm pretty sure most people use streamlabs if you've got some something fancy or something else that works for you use that as well you might as well just use regular uh, obs if you're just recording you don't need streamlabs for that but streamlabs i definitely recommend it for your streams it's it's better suitable for your streams. You can go to their website to edit alert boxes and stuff. It's very, very um, synchronized with Twitch. So that should not be a problem at all. And uh, last but not least, remember how to utilize your virtual desktop in uh, virtual reality. Virtual desktop is free. They don't charge you a penny for it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a very straightforward tutorial. Streaming and recording your gameplay with Oculus Rift S is a breeze for me. I find it extremely useful for streaming and um, you can have an overlay. Uh, just be aware that overlay can be buggy. Maybe with a few updates, it will be better. Also, if you experience certain issues with your Oculus Rift S, especially having no audio or having a static noise in your audio, please make sure to check my uh, fix video my another tutorial video in the in the description below really hope you enjoyed the content as always give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful give me a dislike if you think i can do a better job and most importantly just comment and let me know what you think about it um i'm posting these videos to collaborate and just to 
talk to people. As always, I'll see you next time. Y'all take care.